Every day, we strive to preserve traditions that have spanned generations. Around every turn of the bayou, Mother Nature reveals unique people, places, and experiences. And the bounty of animals and fish. Well, in Louisiana, we just call that land yak. I'm Don Dubuque. I'm Chris Lacop. I'm Captain Martha Spencer. Join us as we document the adventure, sportsmanship, and heritage that make us Bayou Wild. We're at Etouffee Cajun Cuisine in Covington off Highway 190. The food is awesome and that's why it's our new local hangout. It's authentic Cajun. What do they mean by authentic Cajun? It's, it's local. not fake. It's no, not it's, uh, it's your mama and your daddy's recipes. Yes, it's it good is. stuff. They're family recipes here. The food is excellent. The company is great and the atmosphere doesn't really get much better. And we're here twice a month on Mondays. You can check with them and find out which dates. If you want to come by between 11 and 1 and enjoy a good meal and chat with us about some hunting and fishing. Well, speaking of hunting and fishing, Memorial Day weekend coming up, we've got CCA Star Tournaments. And that is a lot of fun and your chance to win some great prizes, but you got to get that ticket first. You can't win if you don't play. So many people, every week after the opening on Memorial Day weekend, you can remember hearing about somebody that caught a tag redfish, failed out. to sign up, and missed out on it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a tournament that goes all summer long, all the way to Labor Day. That's got offshore divisions, inshore divisions, and of course, the tagged redfish, which is the coveted uh, prizes. Now, there's been a few years where we actually got invitations to go out with them, catch those redfish, tag them and release them, and get a little inside baseball on where those fish are. Yeah, but you're not going to get it out of us, so don't even try. This is what you're looking for, red tag. You know, we produce the yellow tags as well for the tagging program. The red ones win your trucks, travel trailers, and boats. So this is what you're looking for. We're going to tag it and put it back in the live well, and then we're going to put it out in a, in a place that everybody can get to. Closed captioning is brought to you by Global Outdoors. Find your next adventure and share your experiences with others by downloading the Global Outdoors mobile app or visiting globaloutdoors.com. At Parish Coffee, we wanted to create a coffee brand that people would love to drink every day. Our medium roast are, are nice, bright, nutty coffees. Our dark roast coffees are smooth and rich. I think it's important for consumers to recognize that sometimes it, it's your neighbor that you're supporting. People can go to parishcoffee.com to find the entire selection of coffees. I've been using Louisiana fish fry products so much, even the kids are getting into it. Find your bag, pour and boil for great crawfish every time. And whether you're boiling crawfish, shrimp, or crabs, Louisiana fish fry products use the perfect blend of garlic, onion, spices, and salt for your seafood boils. So look for the bright yellow bag and pour and boil with Louisiana fish fry products. I've been promoting the Star Tournament on radio and TV since the very beginning, and I've watched this rodeo grow from really small roots to a mighty oak. It's now really the biggest, longest, and the richest tournament in Louisiana history. Well, you know, we, we pride ourselves on having one of the largest tournaments on, on the coast with over 13,000 anglers. You know, when we first started this thing, uh, there were a handful of redfish tagged and not many prizes, and now we've got 25 divisions and people from all over, truly the country, participating in, th in this great event. So I took it over, I don't know, six, seven years ago, and we keep trying to expand it ever since then, basically trying to attract more people, and that comes in divisions and better prizes. We tag 100 fish. Typically we have four or five winners, um, but typically we have even more losers. So you don't want to be one of the anglers without, without a star ticket before you catch it. 
All it takes is one cast and you don't want to eat a $40,000 fish. This is what you're looking for, red tag. You know, we produce the yellow tags as well for the tagging program. For the red ones when your trucks, travel trailers, and boats. So this is what you're looking for. We're going to tag it and put it back in the live well, and then we're going to put it out in a, in a place that everybody can get to. Over time, that tag will lay down. So if you start catching redfish during the day, make sure you flip it over on each side, see if it's there. Sometimes they'll have algae on it. This is what you're looking for. It's a red tag. It says CCA Louisiana, star on it, and a serial number, and it also has a phone number. But the way this works is if you catch it, head to the closest way station. We've got 30 across the coast. And I gotta tell you one thing about the CCA star rodeo. A lot of people say that, you know, is it rigged, is it fair? Uh, one thing about this event, they keep their, they maintain their integrity. And if someone wins a prize in Star, uh, you can rest assured that they certainly deserved it. From, from Grand Isle to West Similaire along our coastline, we got plenty of good trout. Three to five, six pound. There is some six still swimming around there. I mean, in the middle of the summertime, I do a lot of three and four pound fish, which is good fish. But even that, at that point, you got to start ignoring those fish and just start throwing big live bait for them, whether it be big pogies or big croakers. Oh. I do not think this will cut it in the star, star tournament, uh, not even for the any division that we have for trout. I get asked all the time, what's the best way to win star? And truly, it is enter your kids, grandkids, and their, and their friends into the tournament. A youth angler, all they have to do is catch a trout or a flounder over 14 inches, and then you bring it to a way station, or you can send a picture of the fish on a ruler with the kid in the background and email it directly to me at rad at ccalouisiana.com. We put their name in a hopper, and usually it's a one in 100 chance that they're gonna end up winning a boat motor and trailer package. And the best part about it is they're also eligible for all the adult divisions as well. And we'd love to give them a new travel trailer or a brand new Nautic Star uh, if they catch a, a prize winning fish. My name is Mary Field and I won this boat in the CCA Star Tournament. My name is Ethan and I won this boat by fishing the CCA Star Tournament. Because he actually hasn't caught many trout in his life, believe it or not. That was probably like what, your sixth, seventh, eighth trout maybe? Eighth trout in his life, and he won a boat on his eighth trout in his life. That's pretty good. Besides the youth category of being a best chance to win, you know, people ask us all the time, how can we get involved? How, how can I have a shot? And the number one answer I give them is, go get on a charter boat. Those guys are on the water every day. They know where the fish are. Hire them. You're more than welcome to participate, and you don't have to even battle against them. We have a captain's division, but it is only based on whether you, the angler, end up on the final leaderboard or not. So it has nothing to do with them. Get on one of these charter boats, uh, and they, like you saw today with Captain Chad Billiot or, one, or with Martha Offshore, these people will help you out and, and get you on a prize winning fish quicker than you can do it by yourself. As a, as a guide, fortunate enough to be on the water pretty much constantly, I just follow them from the spawn to the shallow part where they'd be arch reefs on the beach line, to sand boards, wherever, to when they're spawning in that part of the moons, where they're pulling back into, say, five to seven foot zones around satellite rigs, platforms, open bays, whatever. You gotta bounce from the, what we do as a guide from the spawn zone, so they're gonna do it every month, to when they finish their spawning, coming back and looking for, for schools of shrimp and just being in that area, but looking for that quality of fish. You gotta stick to where the quality one's gonna be at, and that's gonna be in deeper water. As it heats up seven, eight, nine foot of water sometimes, you're catching those bigger fish. I'm Courtney Hammonds on behalf of the Louisiana Propane Dealers. I've spent hundreds of hours practicing piano. That preparation paid off when I won a couple of talent awards and the title of Miss Louisiana. The Louisiana Propane Dealers are also pretty talented and want you to be prepared for when the power goes out. Visit louisianapropane.com to find out about propane generators and other safety tips. Louisiana Propane, it truly is a fuel for our future. Uh, my name is James Loop, and I won the uh, 2020 Chevy 1500. It was uh, first day at roughly 5:30, 6 o'clock in the evening. Thank you, Super Chevy dealers, for my 2020 Silverado.
One of the reasons why Double D has been around for 50 years is because we are consistent with what built the business. And we go to great lengths to make sure that when you bring a deer or a hog or whatever it may be, your meat stays your meat all the way through the process. But we want to be as true to the original intent, which is a local meat company. And, and that's something that we want to maintain for as long as the Lord lets us do it. It's a redfish frenzy. Uh, over the years, uh, I've seen the people catch fish. I've seen people win trucks. I've seen them win boats. I've seen them lose them. One of the early years, I actually was a star winner. I caught a third place Dorado, and I got a really nice offshore tackle package. But unfortunately, I have yet to catch up with one of those tagged redfish and drive out of there with a brand new truck. The way it works is uh, the tournament ends on Labor Day. Uh, once we tabulate all the leaderboard and, and make sure everybody's good to go, we will have our annual Star Awards Banquet at the end of October in Baton Rouge at Live Oak Arabians. It is a really cool place. Uh, it's Arabian horse farm and it allows us to bring in all the prizes into one facility and let a couple thousand people show up. It is pretty interesting to watch over a half a million dollars walk out the door that night. And, it, and obviously there's a lot of happy people in the room. The Star Tournament goes all summer long, all the way through Labor Day, so you got plenty of time to get involved. And when it ends, you get an invitation to their banquet, which is a wonderful event in October. Get to come out there and meet the winners and take care of a, a lot of, you have a lot of fun out there. You have a lot of fun, and what I love about it is there's a lot of kids involved. And some of these kids win boats, <laughs> so there's no age cap on this. You could be five, you could be 100, you can win something in season. As Rad Trasher always says, that is the most underutilized category there is. It's real easy for a kid to win. <laughs> yeah, and they're pretty good fishermen too. So get entered. It's going to be a great summer. High expectations for fishing this year. And let's take a look back at some of the previous winners. My name is Charlie Kaplinger. I'm a CCA volunteer, and we're here at the CCA annual banquet, annual star banquet, and let's go meet some of these fantastic winners. So we're here at Star with William Armstrong. William, tell me what you did to, to win this boat. I entered a drawing by taking a picture of a 14 inch or a 16 inch trout, and I won the drawing. Where'd you catch your trout? Is it a secret? In Sabine Pass. Sabine Pass? Fantastic. What are you going to do with this boat? We're fishing a Have lot. Have a lot of fun? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Well, thank you for fishing Star. You're thank welcome. you, guys. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, my name is James Loop, and I won the uh, 2020 Chevy 15, 1500. It was uh, first day at roughly 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the evening. I was like, let's stay fishing, and she's like, ah, maybe we need to get back to the launch, you know? <laughs> yeah, it was lovely, and, and I appreciate the CCA for sticking to it. Uh, you know, although I wish Rod the Bull could have went on, but, you know, that's one of the ones I had to get canceled, and uh, yeah, I had a blast. It was a great summer tournament. I'm John Solari, I won the uh, overall trout in the West Division. All right, the day I caught that fish, I was, uh, I was actually fishing the Salty Catch Tournament. And uh, starting time for that fishing tournament started at 12.01 a.m. So I got to my spot at 12.01 a.m. And I sat on that spot on anchor for 11 hours. Well, actually 10 hours and 57 minutes because I caught the star winner at, at, uh, at 10.57 a.m. It was a 29 inch, 8.27 pound speckled trout. I would like to thank CCA for uh, still holding the star even though COVID-19 was going on. And, uh, you know, I've been a supporter of CCA for 15 years. You know, 2020 was my year. And finally, we, uh, we, we came through with the win. Yvette, this is a fantastic day for you. Tell me about how you, got, how you caught this fish. Well, my husband was offshore, so my good friends that have a camp, uh, 
in the same neighborhood as us. They always bring me fishing when my husband's gone. So it was July 4th, and we got to the ship channel, and we hadn't caught much. And uh, they were fishing out one side of the boat. I said, well, let me just try on this side. So I cast as far as I could, and I thought I was hung up. And when I started reeling, it hit the top of the water. I wasn't hung up. And uh, so Lori grabs the net. She said, I'll get it. And when that, that big fish hit the top of the water, David said, Lori, give me the net. And she said, I got it. I said, Lori, give him the net. <laughs> That's and a he, great yeah, story. And he netted it for me, so it was fun. So how, how much did it weigh? 6.67 pounds. And what was it? A speckled trout. A big speckled trout. Right. And y'all are going on a trip. Somewhere, yeah. Well, thank y'all for Fishing Star. All right, we always have, a have good fun. Day. Congratulations. Thank okay, thanks. My name's Waylon and I want a boat. We are uh, fishing out of a, our family's camp in uh, Cocodry, Louisiana. And uh, so we got on a point, had bait fish running everywhere, caught it on a, a live shrimp, popping cork. What happened? You reeled that joker in, didn't you, bud? That's right. Well, uh, Jay caught a 5.9 early and I said, put that in the ladies division because I'm gonna catch a bigger one and, and you'd be knocked out. So I'd rather have the first place in the ladies division for 2,500 travel voucher. And so she did that and it worked out well because she got first place and I, I caught a, I, I had about a five, five and I was in second. And then I got bumped down to third when the guy caught the seven, four. And at the last week, I was in third and I caught a six, four and it moved me to second. My name's Lloyd Picker and I want a camper from Bent's RV. It was a little raining outside, I gaffed the fish, threw him in the boat, never looked at it, and brought him back to clean him, and that's when we noticed the tag was in. A lot of the usual tournaments we usually fish was all shut down, and wife decided to sign us up for CCA, and went out that weekend and had a great time. Isaac Wiggins and I won a vote for, from CCA Star. I was in, I think, Vermilion Bay and I caught my biggest speck that I've ever caught with my dad and uh, it was three pounds. Tony Dees from Gulfport, Mississippi, uh, won a 19-foot nautic star, uh, East Division speckled trout. Three of us were fishing uh, around North Island near the chandeliers. Uh, kind of a slow day, picking up a few trout. It just happened that uh, she came along at the, at the right time. It, it wasn't one of those days where you catch one every cast, but it was a nice and steady day. And by far the biggest that day, there was nothing even close to that. And I've tried to fish all the tournaments, support them as much as I can. In a, in a crazy year where a lot of events got canceled and a lot of people did not get to attend things, we were delighted and fired up that saltwater fishing was more popular than ever, that the star tournament went on, and that we had a lot of great winners in all of the categories. And these guys and ladies are taking home wonderful prizes tonight. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Closed captioning made possible by Explore Kayak Adventure Company. Fishing, sightseeing to photography tours, everything to make your paddling adventure happen. See Explore Kayak Adventure Company on Facebook and Instagram. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. You've seen Tofield and I catching an awful lot of redfish down here in Lafitte. 
Today we're going to show you what happens to them when they come back here to the Cajun Vista. As you can see, we've put them on the, the hot grill to get them scored and put some bars on them, and that's just the start. Where do we go from here? Well, this is, you know, everybody wants to know what you do after the kill, after the catch. So no doubt, this is a, say a little bit of concoction that we've done. A lot of people love it. We have it on our website, but I'm going to start off first with some uh, Lee and Perrin, some of this Worcestershire here sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so definitely you want to juice it up a little bit, man. So don't be scared. Now, this is a spe special Cajun Vista recipe. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to talk about copyright and stuff after <laughs> when this is over. A uh, little wishbone Italian. It's very important. Wishbone Italian because of the olive oil in it. Some people mm -hmm. just do olive oil. I love the, the seasoning that's in here, so it's pretty cool. So this is, again, you want to cover it all. Don't be scared. So we get a nice, good layer. So what's happening here, this is going to make a really good, say, coating for the base of everything. getting ready to dust on here. So... Sometimes less is more, sometimes more is just more. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's cool. So now we have a little mixture of stuff. So yeah, got, I guess it's kind of whatever you like individually. Yeah, whatever you, you personally like. So we got lemon pepper, we got dry Italian seasoning, we got granulated garlic. That's the most important thing. And it really don't matter too much which how you do it. The biggest thing is the end pattern got to be first. And then the, then the, so the wishbone dry Italian seasoning is really important. So this is a little is, help, yeah. Yeah, this is a little dusting. You know, like I said, just get a good good coating. So this is yeah, the swat. All right. All right, a little bit of that, a little granulated garlic. And the pulse, that's what I'll garnish after, make it look pretty in case we mess up. <laughs> We're gonna you can't hardly mess this up. <laughs> no, so you got, we got some fresh fish here just caught, you know, a couple of days ago. So the thing is, just a little light dusting. So now this is all your season. So now we got to have the salt and the cayenne and mm -hmm. to make it, make it all go. So no doubt, you know, we got to have the Cajun season in here. So definitely same thing. So this is all your salt, everything that so make it all tie in. So right now, just definitely just a little uh, complete dusting. So looking good. So we cover up all your grill marks. <laughs> so you can't see that we've well, they're gonna come through later. So the most important thing, extra long spatula. Uh -huh. If I tilt this over right now, Don, it's everything over. washes it's history. off. Yeah. So my pit's hot, I'm pushing about six hundred degrees right now. The biggest thing is, is coming here. Keep that it. skin and that scales goes down. Right, yes, sir. Never never flip this over. So keep it nice and flat. Right. That's the biggest thing. That's why we use a long spatula. So your, your flimsy pancake spatula ain't going to work. Grill so right, lid up or down? Oh, no. Just to make sure you want to get that look and the smell. So mm -hmm. it smells pretty good. So we can actually cover this up. We don't have to come back here by another 10 minutes. So we're going to chill out. This is really, this size fish is about a 15 minute dish. So we're going to cover up. And we're going to talk about fishing and hunting. All right. Come back and see us for the finished product. We love our children. We protect them. We guide them. We prepare them for life in the world. With all that we do, from deep in our hearts, we cannot control all things. Life-threatening illnesses and disabilities affect far too many of our children each year. While we cannot change the circumstance, we can make dreams come true. Dreams to provide hope, to provide spiritual healing and strength, to provide moments of happiness and relief in the hardest of times. We can give a glimmer of light and hope in a time of darkness and despair. Join huntofalifetime.org to help make dreams come true, to provide hope for children with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Hunt of a Lifetime is a nonprofit organization fulfilling dreams for hunting and fishing trips to youth 21 and under with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Visit huntofalifetime.org to learn how you can make a difference. To be seen on a Bayou Wild episode? Sign up for our Cajun Invasion Wild Pheasant Hunt in the remote hills of South Dakota in mid-November. Bad River Bucks and Birds provides lodging, meals, transportation, dogs, and bird cleaning. Details at DonTheOutdoorsGuy.com. So our seasoned redfish has been put on the hot grill for about 15 minutes now. Time's going to vary on the size of the fish fillet you have. Yeah. These ready? They ready because most What's of the part though, we got to put the, the, the special stuff, which okay. is our caramelization. So, so as you can see, the red fish is cracking. That's the most important thing you can see about fish. As soon as it cracks, never want to overcook. You know that. So it's starting to crack. So this fish is good to go. But I got to. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fire off. I don't want to catch you on fire like <laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> but what I like to do is I like to come right in here, man, and just put a nice little drizzle, and let just kind of sink in the little cracks. And we gotta get a little bit for ambiance. 
I get a little smoke going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the thing is, this is going to melt in right now. By the time we plate it, it's going to disappear. You can see it slowly going down. We're cooking high, man. We're cooking at 550 degrees. Like I said, this is, I guess, about what, maybe 12 minutes total. So I'll let you do the honor of getting it to that plate without dropping it on the floor, because I'm going to eat it off the ground. All right, here we go. <laughs> you know, Our redfish Cajun Vista. There you up. go. Woo! Look at that. One. Yeah, the key thing, y'all, keep it flat. Mm, 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 mm. Keep it flat. That's, That's a Flintstone plate. There it is. Good looking <laughs> stuff. Look at that, boy. <laughs> Steaming. Now, they got to put a little more garnish on it now. So, you know, we got our signature on it. Me and you signing this work. So, we're definitely going to get a little something there. A little something there, man. I think it look pretty. You, know, you go to choke right. on this pasta when you eat it, it wasn't me. No, Phil, this is a pretty easy recipe, but one of the tricky parts is you don't want to undercook it or overcook it. How do you test for doneness? Well, that's, that's definitely something always people ask me. And the biggest thing, you can see the cracks, how it cracks in here. Mm -hmm. So the very first crack, normally it's right in the thicker part. It's telling you, all right, I'm about 95% done. That's when I put the butter on it and shut it off because the heat is still cooking. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, this thing's cracked the whole way. And also, too, the flakiness, you can see how it's breaking. So that's definitely just big sheets. I mean, that is definitely in the frame. You can feel your fish. It's just like a good mm -hmm. steak. You, when you touch a steak, you can tell medium well and all. Same thing with a fish. If it firms up, you're really done. How about these black edges? That yeah, that helps, too. <laughs> yeah, that means you're getting ready to burn it. All right. I think, <laughs> it's, time, like I think it's time to put it yeah, to the final oh, yeah, test. Yeah. What do you think? See, see if that's going to be uh, the deal or not there. Let's see. Let's see if this is going to make the cut. Done. Oh, yeah, done. I think it made it. Yeah, no doubt. C'est bon. <laughs> You're watching Bayou Wild TV, award-winning outdoor programming. on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or visit the website BayouWildTV.com to watch past episodes.